everybody, my name is Beth Ann, and this is another episode of Turn the Page, and I have another book for you called The Monster Monologist by Rick Yancey. So, let's read. Forceps! I slammed them into his free hand and watched as they entered the fang-encrusted maw, deeper than deeper still, until the doctor's entire hand disappeared. The muscles of his forearm arm bulged as he rotated his wrist, exploring the back of the thing's throat with the tips of the forceps. Sweat shone on his forehead. I patted it dry with a bit of gauze. Would have dug a breathing hole so it didn't suffocate, he muttered. No visible wounds, deformities, outward sign of trauma. Ah! His arm became still. His shoulder jerked as he pulled on the forceps. Stuck tight. I'll need both hands. Take the chisel and pull back, Will Henry. Use both hands if you must, like this. Don't let it slip now or I shall lose my hands. Yes, that's it. Good boy. He fell away from the table, left hand flailing to regain his balance. In his right, the forceps, and in the forceps, a tangled strand of pearls, stained pink with blood. Finding his balance, the monstrumologist held high his hard-won prize. I knew it, he cried. Here, here is our culprit, Will Henry. He must have torn it off her neck in his frenzy. It lodged in his throat and choked him to death. I let go the chisel stepped back from the table and stared at the crimson strand dangling from the doctor's hand. Light danced off its coating of blood and gore, and I felt the very air tighten around me, refusing to fully fill my lungs. My knees began to give way. I sank onto the stool, struggling to breathe. The doctor remained oblivious to my condition. He dropped the necklace into a tray and called for the scissors. To the devil with him, I thought. Let him fetch his own scissors. He called again, his back to me, hand outstretched, bloody fingers flexing and curling. I rose from the stool with a shuddering sigh and pressed the scissors into his hand. A singular curiosity, he muttered, as he cut down the center of the girl's burial gown. So I hope that was enough to get you to pick this book up and turn the page. Bye, guys.